Welcome to our first online art session, or DT session as it will be. Um, we're going to be doing a different few things every week. Things that you can just do at home with bits and pieces that you've already got in your home. And I'm thinking this week, because we've already been doing about our Cinderella in English, we are going to make a 3D pumpkin. Just like this. Here's one I made earlier. So, it's nice and simple. Things you need are here on my table. This is lots of going to do zoom in. So what you need, so you need scissors, glue stick, ruler, pencil, a piece of card. It doesn't have to be an orange piece. If you've got just a white piece, you can just colour it in, decorate it as you want. A piece of green card or a pipe cleaner. So it's one or one or the other. You don't need both. And a hole punch. If you haven't got a hole punch, then we're just going to ask mummies or daddies to make a hole for you. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. Would you like to zoom in over the top, Mrs. Dobson? So that makes make it easier. So with your piece of card, first thing you need to do is make four strips. Make them about three centimeters. So if you mark at the top three centimeters, remember the uh, ruler has to be on zero at the edge of the page up to three and do the same at the other end three centimeters then with your ruler make a straight line down okay that's doesn't have to be too precise because it will work and you want to do that four times okay so you want four strips one two three Four. So you can have four strips straight down. So just cut them straight down, nice and straight, using your cutting skills, straight along the line. So you've got that, and you have once you've got four of them, which I've just dropped on the floor. Hold on, hold on a moment. And I now have four equal strips, all the same length. One, two, three, four. Once you've done that, I need to find the middle of the strip. So what I would do is I put them all together, make sure they're nice and straight, and put one end to the other end and make a crease. A nice sharp crease. So now you know where the middle of the strip is. Once you've done that, if you've got a hole punch, hole punch in the middle of the strip, like that. Okay, which would leave you like this. So now I've got four strips and they've all got a hole in both ends. Okay, can you see that? Once you've done that, you can start assembling it. All you need now is your four strips and your glue stick. Take one strip, put some glue in the middle where your crease is, and then take the second strip and put that in the middle as well to make a cross. Just like that. Okay. Then do the same again. Put some glue in the middle of the cross, but this time lay the strip diagonally across the other two strips. So, like that. Then you put the last piece in the middle, exactly the same, line up the middle, put it diagonally the other way. A nice press and then you're left with that. Okay, <coughs> once you've got your four strips, this is the fun bit where we start building it. So you need to take the middle strip, bring it round and bring the other one round and you can see the two circles. You want to put some glue where you've made the hole punch 
and bring the other one onto the top and line up the circles. There we go, that's our first one. And do the same again. Glue in the middle of the strip. Bring up the outside one. Line up the circle. Bring up the other one. Glue first. Line up the circle. See, it now looks like that. Oh, it's starting to take shape. I can see my pumpkin come in. Same again. Glue in the middle of the strip. Bring up one of the outside ones. Line up the circle. Same again. More glue. If you haven't got a print stick, any sort of PVA glue, or you can make your own glue, old fashioned way with the flour and water glue, that will work as well. Press it nice and tight and you keep going to all the strips have joined together with that circle in the middle. Like this. One more. Wow, that's definitely looking like a pumpkin now. Give it a nice squeeze. It gets a bit fiddly once you've got them all up the top. And it, you're looking like that. Okay, if you have a pipe cleaner, Anything will do, or you can even use a green straw. This is to make the stem. So I'm just literally pushing that through, and that's made my stem of my pumpkin. Makes it a bit more. If you've got a green one, even better. This is one someone made in class last week. And then all they've added on is a little leaf. So just to cut a leaf shape out. Lying around the house. Alright then. Okay guys, see you all soon. Bye!